So I got a phone call today from the CEO of this publicly traded company. They're on the NASDAQ. And he said, dude, I really want you to help out everything that we're doing, exactly what you're doing with Ken. Name your price. And I, I said, first, tell me what you have. And I shut them down immediately, immediately, because they were not my ideal customer. And I could have probably said 25 to 50 grand. And I'm really not joking. This is a massive, a really big publicly traded company, and, but they are not my ideal clientele because they have nothing started right now. And the reason why they are reaching out to me is because anytime I go into somebody's business, I can instantly show incredible results instantly within a few months. And that's what they want. They want the instant results, which because they haven't done anything, I can't help them. I said, here's the deal. I'm going to get put you in contact with someone that I think can take you from zero to 10. And then what I'll do is I will help you go from 10 to a thousand. That That is my promise to you, but you have to get to 10 before I can help you. And I'm not even going to go over any price because right now I don't even take a salary. All I do is uh, take a percentage of what I can I, I make someone else, but I make people so much money, but I can't do that for you because you haven't started. And I handled it in a way where I'm not burning any bridges. I'm not saying, dude, I'm not going to work with you. I'm just saying, I only want to work with you if I know that I will show you the best results. And he really liked that. He said, okay, Josh, thank you for being incredibly honest with me, what your skill set is. And now I know what we need to do until we can work together. So I will get started on that. I'll put me in contact with the person that you have that you can, that can help me get to zero to 10. And the overarching lesson here is if my only goal was short term money, I would have taken that client instantly. And I really, from a personal level, I don't think I would have showed them incredible results, especially for what I would have charged them. If they were paying me, let's just say 25 grand a month, I would have hired a team which probably would have costed five to seven thousand dollars. And the results would, I would not be able to generate them $25,000 a month of revenue for at least a year because it takes a year of building everything up. And then I think I could make them a lot more than that, but I would not be a good cost effective person to hire for the job that they want done. And it's in a niche that I've never covered before. I want to be able to scale and I want to be able to take these types of clients and I'm going to be second hand helping pull the strings for this with the person that I'm going to be putting them in charge with so I can gain this skill set so I can take on this type of client in the future. But since my brand is my number one priority, I don't want to say this is on me because the only reason why they were reaching out to me is because of the results. And I see so many people taking the short term dollar and losing the long term credibility. The problem is it takes such a long period of time to build something great. And I am willing to wait the time to build something really great with the foundation of my building being the most solid structure possible before I start to go up. Because I'm not hyper-focused on money, but I'm hyper-focused on results. And it was a very easy decision for me to make. It really was. But it's not an easy decision to make. Uh, the only reason is because I'm hyper cognizant of what is my number one objective. And it is my reputation and what I'm doing. Because it's so good, I get these types of opportunities a lot. I turn down 99% of them. If there's someone that I know I can hit a home run with instantly, I will do that. Until I have the infrastructure in place and until the foundation of my building is big enough, I don't want to ruin the, the one thing that I have. And that's goodwill from everyone that have done such a great job for. So this is a tough thing to do if you're making no money right now to say no to money. It really is. But if you are having a business that is making you enough money and there's someone who is not your ideal customer, sometimes it's not worth it taking them until you know that you can service them. That's the problem that I'm running into. I don't have the infrastructure in place to service that person. Yet, yet, that is the portion of building the foundation because I know because I was candid with them and, and because I turned them down, now if I ever reach out to them, they want my business. They do. 
because the, the the entire relationship dynamic has flipped. So people think that, I mean, I'm now in a position of power with them anyway, because I turned them down. I could say, hey guys, I, I saw something that you were doing that we can really improve. I think that you actually would make a great fit for what I'm doing. And I could take them instantly. And that's what I've done with every single person. So there's huge benefits in turning turning down business. People respect when you tell them an honest answer. That is one of the best things. Hey, I would love to take your business right now, but I really can't. One, because I don't have the infrastructure in place. I don't have the time. I don't have the team. I only want to take on your business when I'm ready and when I can give you the absolute results that you're paying for. And business owners, when you tell them that, love that. They're basically, they're because you're telling them, Hey, I will service you, but not now because I don't have, I only want to service you when I know I can produce value. So then when you say, Hey, I'm ready to produce the value. They're saying, okay, come on, do exactly what you promised you're going to do. And those are the types of situations that I like to be in. <sighs> but I keep on hammering down on this point because just about every single person I know is ruining their reputation because they are taking on business that they know they shouldn't, but they want the short term buck. And it's, I mean, it's such a hard thing to do. And I, I don't, I'm not saying that I'm in the right here. Maybe I'm just being a bitch, which is absolutely possible. It's the, probably the most probabilistic answer. But anyway, it's really cool that these types of people are starting to really want to work with me. I mean, that is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome that your name gets out there. It really is cool. And this is happening pretty much every single week. So I'm hoping and by the mid summertime, I'm ready to open up the floodgates and take on, you know, a lot of customers. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm going slow in the beginning. So when you scale, it's so much easier. The best thing that you have is referrals from other people who are already ready to pay. It's, it's amazing. You can either spend your 10 years building the best product that sells, it sells itself or spend a few months creating a shit product that you're selling all the time. I would rather right now, I'm just focusing all my time on creating the best possible product to where every single person who works with me recommends two friends and those ones recommend two friends. And that's exactly what's happening because the results are so good instead of building something that you constantly have to sell. Cause I hate selling. I would never want to be in a position where I would have to be cold calling people and say, Hey, I can do this for your business. Here's what I would do. Here's X, Y, and Z. You either spend the time being really freaking good at something to where everyone wants your business, uh, or you spend all your time selling your, your business. <laughs>